Hey guys and welcome to the Akinon's YouTube channel. In this video, we will see what is the meaning of a single and double underscore before an object in a Python class. So without further wasting time, let's get started. So basically what I've done is I have quickly created a class of the name my class and inside its initialization method, I have first created a self dot and then after that I have created two leading underscores and then the variable name saying super private and that has a data corresponding to the string of hello. Then I have created another initialization variable and that has a single leading underscore of the name semi primate and that corresponds to a data of the string world. And now I've created an object or an, an instance of my class. And first thing is we will understand what is the difference between a single underscore and, an, and a double leading underscore before an object. So in the single leading of underscore, we are, it's just a format or a method of trying to tell the program that these are the private variables used by the class do not need to be used in the public method and the double leading underscore is more of a private instance but this cannot be accessed outside the class so let's try a small demonstration to understand it in a more precise manner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the objects instance so first i will print semi private and if i print that as you can see world is present on the output screen but now if I add the double leading and if I change the variable name from semi private to super private and now if I run it, as you can see, it gives an attribute error saying that my class object has no attribute super private, even though we have created the attribute that is visible here. So Python tries to tell us that there is no variable or no attribute, even though the attribute exists, meaning that Python is keeping this attribute like a secret or a private instance. So this explains the difference between a single leading underscore and a double leading underscore before an object. So that's it from this video. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like and share it with your friends. And if you have any suggestions, drop them down in the comment section and we'll be back soon with more fun and interesting videos.